Hi, I'm Andrew from Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a address lookup or a address suggest feature in Zoho Creator. So let's say you have a form that you wanna type in someone's address and you wanna normalize that address to make sure that the spelling's accurate or if you type in the, the address, it gets the, the state and the zip code or postal code, right? If you want that auto-populated, then this is the video that's gonna show you how to do that. Let me start by sharing my screen and hopefully it's the right screen, otherwise it'd be a short video. Okay, so I'm in a Zoho Creator app. It's the same Zoho Creator app I created in the previous video. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna create a new form, all right? From scratch, address, lookup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a single line field and call it address search. Go, and then I'm gonna have a drop down field and we're gonna call it address select. Go. So these are the two fields you need. You could also have this address field. I'm not gonna add that for the sake of a, a cleaner video, but these are the two fields you need. So what's gonna happen is when they enter something in the address search, we're gonna populate all the drop down options in the address select, and then they could select one, right? So this can be done in two steps. The first step is where they enter in the address search. So I'm gonna click done, and then I'm gonna create a workflow. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, create, load a form, hide, uh, select, field, right? And this is just so, if I go back, um, that drop-down field doesn't show up initially. So address is select. And let's click save. And when I go to the, uh, the actual form, we only have the search. That's good. So then we want to have a function or a, a, a new, uh, let's go create or edit, user input of a field, uh, address search, display address options. Cool. So, so now when they search this, we want to do a couple things. First thing we want to do is search for addresses using standalone function. Then we want to populate addresses. Then we want to show address drop down. Cool, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna search for addresses using a standalone function. So I'm gonna save this, right? And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make a new standalone function, right? And we're gonna call this standalone function at address options, right? And it's gonna return a list, right? And the argument is the address string, and that is a string. Great, so now we, we want to set this up. So how does this part work? So first thing we want to do is do an API call for addresses. And then we want to add addresses to list. And finally, we want to return the list, okay? So um, let's start here, let's do an API call. Let's go call invoke, invoke URL. In response, I'm gonna do get, I'm not gonna have anything else here. Now, on my other screen, I have this, uh, this API. Um, I signed up for the free version, it's called Geo, uh, Geo API Fire, I think. I don't know, 
it's called something, but it will give you a URL that you can actually search, right? You can, it is my IP address, this is the, the free version. So what I'm actually gonna do, if I go back here, um, I have this URL. Uh, let's go string insert. So I have this URL like this. Okay. URL equals, there's the first part of the URL plus, I'm gonna put in the address string, right? Plus, and then I it requires an API key. There it is. And I'm gonna go URL equals URL. And now if I info this, and let me just copy that or correct that spelling there. So let's search for Main Street. Boom, we got all the results we, we, we want for Main Street. And if I display that on the screen right here, there are a lot of results for Main Street. So what we wanna do is we wanna get the, fe the features here is the list of all the addresses, there are five. And then within that, there's the properties. And then within the properties, we have the formatted address. So let's go ahead and do that here. Uh, let's call it results. Actually, let's put this down here. Results equals, and then it's this response, dot get features. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go dot to list, right? Because this features is actually a list. There's five objects in there. So we want to make sure that it's formatted to be a list, right? After that, we want to add all the addresses into a list. So for each record, we'll call this address to add. Right? We want to add each of these addresses into a list, but we need the list. So let's make a new list right here. Output list equals list. And let's go put list dot add. Uh, addresses to add dot get. Properties dot get. Format, oh, I gotta spell it, formatted. And then finally, the output would be right here. Now, this is normally fine, right? But the thing I want you to note is formatted, it has all of these commas in there, right? And if we're adding things to a list, commas generally mean that it's the next thing in the list. So what we're gonna do to make this a little bit easier is we're also going to go plus a pipe. There we go. And if I comment this piece out, main streets. There we go. Main streets, Anaheim, and then main street, Lions, and then main street, North main street, Las Vegas. Right. And we are going to separate it by these here, okay? So now we can go back to here. Let's go search for addresses using the standalone function. So address list equals stand alone. And then we want to input address search, and finally dot to list, and we're going to to list by this comma and space. All right, so then after that, we wanna populate the addresses. Now it's a drop down view, so there's actually a trick here. So let's go uh, field name. So address select, UI dot append 
And then in brackets, let's put the address list. And then finally, we want to show address select. Click update. There we go. So now, let me refresh this page. When I type in Main Street, it's going to show me that these are all of our Main Street options. It didn't to list particularly well. Let's try it one more time. And then here's all of our main streets, plus choice one, which I'll show you how to eliminate that in another video. Um, we can even go a little further and say, you know what, I want to separate it by this. Click update. When I refresh, main street. And then here are all the options. So let's go with Anaheim. And then we can submit this at this point. Uh, so if you found this video helpful, uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.